Okay, um, we're going to start where we left off last time. Uh, now it's time to take what we've painted and put it onto the target files. So we'll start with the left side first. We're going to open, um, go to your TGA files, and uh, range them where you can have a look at them. Uh, fuselage left underscore T target. So we hit OK. It's going to load that texture in here. So what we're going to do, best way to do this, now everybody has their own style, this is mine, use what you want. Um, <clears throat> the best way to do this, uh, get rid of that. On your outline layer, take your little magic wand here, set the tolerance to 1, and uh, make sure there's a check mark in anti alias alias AA is what I call it because I can't say it right. Um, now we're going to uh, you know, check mark in that AA and then a all one intolerance and we're going to click on the black part of the outline layer here, the very top layer, basically making a selection. And what we're going to do now is go to, uh, we're going to deselect the outline layer, scroll all the way to the bottom, right here on background we're going to make a duplicate copy of our background. So right click, duplicate layer, background copy. Hit OK. Now select your uh, background, your original background, deselect it so it's not visible. Click on your new copy. We're going to go up here to uh, layer, merge visible. So basically everything's on screen now will be merged into one layer. So there you go, one layer. With our selection still active, hit the delete key and hit control D to unselect and there you go. We have a perfectly cut out fuselage ready for painting. This is about the best way to do it in my opinion. So uh, we'll go ahead and take a square marquee tool because we're going to paste it into these sections here. I go ahead and I select the whole thing. I don't try to do piece at a time. So uh, go ahead and just get far up on the tail because you see here the tail is a little bit here. Just kind of go up a little bit on the tail. Start your selection. Ooh, went a little fast there. Select the whole thing all the way to the bottom. All the way up to the tail. Perfect square. Or rectangle rather. Control C, copy. And we're done with that for now. Go to your fuselage left target file. Go to 100%. Move your navigator up so you can see. Control V. We're going to paste in our texture. We're going to move it over top here. Using the uh, little crosshairs here, we're going to align it. And uh, a quick way to check alignment is either go to multiply that layer or you can just kind of just flick it on and off. Make sure the windows aren't shifting back and forth or up and down. And uh, if you used your, your crosshair here, should be dead on. So there we go. Do the same thing for this next layer. Now this one, we have no crosshair, so we're gonna have to um, we're gonna have to do the uh, the multiply. As you can see, the targets that I supplied are also a different window configuration. Doesn't matter. We're pasting over top of it anyways. So we're gonna set this one to multiply. So this way, I can show you both ways to do it. We're not gonna use the windows as reference. We're gonna use that little bitty pound sign there. So we're going to zoom in, going to line the pound signs with one another. There it is. Go back to 100, set it to normal. There we go. Looking at your belly here, the wing root, make sure it doesn't shift when you're flicking it on and off. So we're aligned there. And last but not least, Control V. We're going to paste this one in. using our crosshairs. We got crosshairs now, so so we should be on it. Or there we are. Okay. Uh, we're going to get rid of this little extra piece of tail here, so uh, take your selection tool, select it down the length here, make go just to the bottom of the fuselage above it, and make sure you're on that layer there, layer 3, whatever it is, and delete it. Control D, deselect. Now what I was telling you earlier about the blue and the white here, how it didn't matter, here's where it comes into play. This uh, tail texture here, 
this tail texture actually has uh, no bearing on uh, what gets displayed in the in the sim. Alpha, this targa, the fuselage left targa file, the only thing the sim is reading is the actual body itself. It does not read anything from the tail. So, what I'm trying to say is, if you got any of this, your tail edge showing onto the blue, it's going to show up onto your body, you know, and it'll look tacky. Also, um, if the white, if we would have cut the white down here, then uh, in the sim, the blue wouldn't have went all the way to the base of the tail. It would have stopped short. So you got to make sure the blue goes all the way up. So um, what I always do, take my pencil tool, and uh, using your brackets, you can use the uh, right bracket, hit it a few times, and it'll increase the brush size. Get a brush about about that big. Um, use your color dropper, hold down an alternate, and uh, select a color near the uh, the blue there. Select that, and uh, we're just going to paint over top of that. It doesn't have to be pretty, it doesn't matter. And uh, we're just going to paint over that rudder line also, so that it doesn't show up. There we go, we'll paint up it a little bit. There we go. So therefore, we'll be for sure we get a uniform blue all the way up to the base of the tail. Um, on this texture at the bottom, the only other thing you would ever edit on this texture besides the body halves is this right here. This is the um, the uh, over rotation, uh, the tail skid, basically. That's the texture for it there. So you would color that whatever the base of this is. It's white, so we're going to leave it white. And this here, this is the, um, the vent cover. It also gets covered whatever the base is here. So whatever you color this, you need to also color the outline of this. And doing that, you just select it with your magic wand and then just color it over. No big deal. So that's easy. So that's done. Go to your channels. Each target has an alpha channel. The alpha channel basically is uh, how it's going to determine how glossy that file is within Flight Sim. So basically, you can take your dropper here, click on the lighter gray. It's a 243 shade of gray. 243 is about as dark as I would go for a body. That'll give you about the right amount of glossiness and not too much, not too little. Uh, these dark parts here are the uh, shocks of the aircraft, the struts. So they need to be a little bit darker, so they're going to be a lot more glossier. But uh, like I said, 243 is about as dark as I would go. Uh, anything like wheels and all that need to be perfectly white because wheels aren't glossy last time I checked. Unless you got like armor all on them. But uh, either way. Uh, so anyways, I was just that's just to explain to you what the alpha does. Uh, if you've clicked on it, and then just go back to RGB, alpha, RGB. And you can actually select it here. It doesn't matter. Go back to your layers. So good. So the left side is saved and done. So we'll go to layer. We're going to flatten it. Make it all one layer. File. Save as. And uh, just throw a little KLM there. So you got it saved. I'm going to leave it as 32-bit pixel. Basically 32-bit uh, is saying that this is 24 and then you have your uh, your 8-bit uh, alpha channel. So 32 bits. We can close that one and we're done with the whole left side. So we can go ahead and uh, just repeat the same thing for the right side and uh, that's where we'll pick up next time.